This is the Omser LED Mini Projector. I just received this from Amazon and I'm gonna do a short review and test of this product. So let's jump into it. Let's take a look at all the things that are in the box. So this is the box. It does have some nice information on the side. The projector came in a really nice bubble wrap. So it was well protected. It has a power cord, has an audio video adapter here for your old RCA. It has a user manual and then a remote with uh, plenty of nice features on there. So for the projector itself, it has a lens cap on the front, which is nice. On the bottom, the front legs can be extended by way of screws so that if you need to uh, do some leveling, you can. And those do fold all the way back up into the projector. It has a quarter inch threaded uh, place here for on a tripod or mounting this on maybe some all thread from a ceiling. Back legs are nice rubber and that keeps this from sliding around. It has the keystone to adjust the picture down here on this bottom wheel. On the top it has power button, the back button, OK button, left, right, and input buttons. And on the back, it has place for power cord. It has the um, IR for the remote control, has USB, has VGA, HDMI, audio video input, and headphones out. Now the provided cable is what would be placed into that audio video if that's the method you're gonna be using to play your media. And uh, if you're going to be using the VGA, of course, it's not going to have sound, so you would need to put your audio into that plug there. HDMI has both audio and video. And then USB, you can play a PowerPoint, or you can do uh, music or videos, so very uh, convenient there. The remote control has volume up and down, back menu has input, left, right, up, down, OK, Play, stop, forward, and reverse has uh, your mute button and power button. And this takes two AAA batteries. I don't have an actual pull down projector screen, so we're going to be using this sheet on top of my green screen. Should be effective enough for this test. Let's begin the setup process here. We're going to attach the power cord to the back. It does not matter on direction. I'm going to plug the other side up into the wall here. First of all, let's use the provided audio video cable here. And I'm going to attach this to my old Canon camera here. So this is just going to yellow to yellow, red to red, and white to white. I'm going to hold down the power button going to blink for a second and then it'll turn on. There we go. Remove the lens cap here. And now I can turn on my camera and it will be able to go here to the device. I'm going to adjust the legs to bring the screen up a bit. If you go too far the screw falls out. Something to keep in mind there. I've waited until evening to make this test because my house doesn't really have a good dark room and it is a projector so it doesn't show up all that great in the daylight. So here's an example of full light with uh, no dark room. What you doing down there, Alan? You having a good time? So you can definitely see that it needs to be darker to play. So. Let me run through some of the settings real quick. As you can see with the light off, definitely comes up a lot clearer. So first of all, you need to hit the input button and you can see I'm on the AV. We'll try out HDMI here in just a bit. So some of the settings that are in here, I can go to picture mode and that will allow me to adjust the color settings. So let me go to user here, and you can actually adjust these. So let's say I want to bring down the brightness some. You can see it'll get really dark here. Okay, there's zero. 
I've been noticing that about halfway at 50 is a really good brightness there. And then uh, color, sharpness, tint, contrast, all that good stuff. So back to the menu here. There is color temperature and you can adjust the red, green, and blue on that. Aspect ratio, I'm going to keep it uh, 16 by 9. Noise reduction and you can go to projection mode. I'm going to keep that at normal. You can also do uh, sound settings and time and then options for various updates and all that good stuff. Now that we've been through the options real quick, let me play a couple of clips so you can see what this looks like. Here's a clip from a wedding I filmed. So as you can see, the color is nice and sharp. What you doing down there, huh? You having a good time? I backed the projector up about three more feet, and I have an HDMI cable that I'm going to connect here in the back. So we can try out the PlayStation. As you can see, the screen is about nine foot by five foot, give or take. I'm going to go ahead and hit the input button and move up to the HDMI and it should locate the PlayStation here. There we are. Let's go check out a YouTube video. This is Oak and it is a nice board. I was able to pick this up for $25 because my brother-in-law came and helped me put... Now that you've seen the quality of the picture, let's check out the sound quality. This is coming from the HDMI cable from YouTube. I used some cardboard in the garden, just one layer, and... Uh, I'm going to adjust the volume real quick. Back to Eden style garden, where you put down a layer of either cardboard or several layers of paper. That's full put, blast right there. Um, straw on top of cardboard earlier in the year, so that hopefully by next growing season, it will be a nice... Um, and it goes all the way down to zero. So what are my thoughts on the Omser Mini LED projector? I have several positive things to say about it. I really enjoy that it has all of the function buttons on the machine itself, and the remote control has everything that you would need as well. So if for some reason you lose this control, you can still access everything from the unit. I like that. Unlike uh, some DVD players where if you lose remotes, it's over. <laughs> Nice having this lens cap over the bulb there. I like having the two front adjustable legs. That's really nice. I also found the rubber feet to be very helpful as this was possibly going to slide around. I really appreciate that this unit has so many inputs, especially that it has an option for the old RCA. I still use that in several applications. And of course the HDMI is probably what most people would be using. Now, one thing that I did not care much for was when you buy this from Amazon, it comes in this box, not even a piece of tape over it. So if you're in an area where people steal mail, they might see this box and say, hey, that's nice. Um, so it would be nice if it was packaged a little bit differently. Another possible downside is that there's no adjustment for screen size. To make the screen bigger, you have to push the uh, project it further away, smaller, closer. Luckily, you can have a decent sized screen with only about five feet distance from the screen, so that is really nice. If you'd like to check out the Omser Mini LED Projector, I have a link in the description to the Amazon page. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.